Hey guys, this is Comic Frontline, and today I'm doing a review for Selfie Season 1, Episode 1, uh, and this is the pilot episode. It was released early on Hulu, so I decided to do a review for it. Um, me and Jay, a while back when the summer began, our first Media Madness episode was talking about all the fall TV shows coming out, and I really want to try to watch all the fall TV shows, or a good amount of the fall TV shows, just to get a gist of what I want to see and what I don't want to see. Um, Selfie wasn't really on my list, though, to watch. It was just one of those things that, hey, it's on Hulu, why not review it? Um, if there's any other reviews or any other shows that are on Hulu that didn't get leaked, actually released by the by the network, please tell me and I will review it. Also, next week or two weeks from now, I'm going to be going to the Paley Center and seeing other advanced reviews early too, like Gotham, Flash, so you're going to expect reviews on that for Comic Frontline and my channel, Comic Uno. But let's start talking about Selfie. Now, this is a Karen Gillan show. She's definitely integrating herself into American media. She became popular because of Doctor Who, and now this summer she became really popular because she was one of the villains in Guardians of the Galaxy. So now her name is definitely out there, and she has her own show. So I'm sure a lot of people are going to try to check this out. Now, what is the show about? It's about this self-centered girl who doesn't really have many social skills, and and again, she's very shallow, and she meets this guy who could help her give her a new image because she pr pretty much ruined it on this plane trip where she threw up everywhere, and no one really likes her. So she's trying to discover herself, and this other guy who's helping her is very antisocial, and they're kind of helping each other out with their communication skills. So what I think, it's a weird show. <laughs> it is. It's not... There's some jokes that land, I'll say that, but there's a lot of jokes where if you're on social media a lot, are just very generic now. Um, the hashtag, the um, Elsa let it go joke, there is a lot of generic jokes here, and very shallow jokes, honestly. And personally, yeah, it's a lot in the mainstream audience that people say these type of things, and as for me, I'm a big social media person just because I do YouTube and all this stuff. Um, I understand where it's coming from, and I think it's a good topic to explore. Also, as a communications major, um, I do like how they explore the different, how communication is very different now because of social media and phones and how people don't really concentrate with each other. And we have one guy that's totally antisocial and always about work, and the other girl who's antisocial, in a, even though she thinks she's social because she's on social media. So I think those dynamics are interesting, but can a whole show carry that? And I think that's the big problem with Selfie. I don't think it can, and I don't think the characters are interesting, interesting enough to do so. I think Karen Gillan did well enough for what there was. Um, I think she did an okay job. You know, I think as an actress, she did a good job, but the script wasn't, it wasn't there. It really wasn't. Um, again, a lot of the jokes did not land. It's very two-dimensional show where it's trying to go deep. You know as the show goes on, it probably, maybe it will get good. It might get really deep with these two characters. You kind of pre could predict that these two characters are going to probably end up together. The secretary is probably going to be like her new best friend. You could pretty much predict these things, but I think those elements are going to come too slow and that's why I do think these are going to be this is going to be one of the shows that's probably get canceled after its 13 episodes or maybe after a season comedies it's really hard to get picked up um in these days I remember pretty much all last fall all the comedies all the new freshman shows got canceled and the pilot is so important when certain shows especially if you have a big name on a show like Karen Gillan um I think the pilot's very important and this pilot just did not do it for me without spoiling too much uh, again, some of the jokes that did not land didn't land well at all. The whole her throwing up on the plane was pretty much disgusting. It was not funny. It was pretty disgusting. And maybe there's one or two jokes here, but they were more one-liners. Definitely not events that happened. And biggest thing, I didn't care about these two characters enough. Again, I, I care about the potential of these two characters, but... I didn't say to myself, I gotta see the second episode of Selfie, because I'm not. I'm not gonna see the second el uh, episode of Selfie, because it just wasn't interesting enough. Even though, I think, in the long run, this show does have some potential in different ways, just because it is tackling things like communications and social media, which is interesting, but can a show hold that? That's the big question. So for me, I'm gonna give this two and a half stars. I didn't quite like it. I mean, it's not the worst show I've ever seen, but I just don't think it's gonna pick up well enough to get um, either a season pickup or 
a second season, uh, at least from this episode, unless it does improve a lot. I just don't think enough people are going to be like, let me see that second episode. But hope you guys enjoyed. Please tell me in the comments below, again, what shows you would like me to review this, this fall coming up. Uh, and... Also, if there's any shows that are released early, if you want me to review that for either Comic Frontline or Comic Uno, uh, you can check out the Paley Center for the fall. Um, what shows you want me to see there? I'm going to be going there Saturday, so you could uh, be sure to check out what shows that you want me to review, definitely for advanced review. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno, and guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the right situations, and don't forget to like my Facebook page, and don't forget to check out my comic book, like Father Like Daughter, description below for more information on that. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.